All right, and this recording, which is a which makes one's face palm very hard, is going to, to worker rage as Moby Lab returns sec to sex shop. Disgruntled overworking conditions at the St. James Parish Lab in Montego Bay include the facility to be used for sexual liaisons. Staff yesterday mounted placards of protest to press home their discomfort, discontentment. Marilyn Moody, senior librarian, said the workers expressed displeasure that the previous complaints had not led to redress. All right. Library users who turned up yesterday were greeted with the placard saying emotional, physical distress, inhumane conditions, and poor security systems. Message, messages telegraph, telegraphed to highlight anger at the lack of electricity, running water after fire last Saturday night. The library ceased operations for the day at 1.30 p.m. Moose said the staff were discussing the practice of children who were using the 68-year-old building as a meeting place for sex. The gar quote to quote, the garbage area was lit on Saturday and security guard duty reported a fire at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We have some real concerns about security. They have been verbally abused and threatened by credit or slash a person threatened the security personnel, she said. Quote to quote, I can state that we've been having challenges as it relates to children converging here with the level of mayhem that they create, using explicit smoking and drinking, and even engaging in sexual activity to some extent. We try to resist as a result of being disrespected at the Modi. According to senior librarian, a meet was held on Monday to discuss its latest security concerns. In the article, so there you have it. So this, uh, the library, Mobe, the St. James Parish Library is basically been, basically been turned into a den of degeneracy. And it's unfortunate that it's apparently the, the main culprits are some of these, some unruly, unruly brats. And obviously, the, obviously whose parents failed them because... When I'm hearing about this, like, oh, these kids are allowed to just run wild and reckless. I want to ask, where are the parents of these children? Because obviously the parents are not doing their jobs of putting their kids in check. And also the biggest question, where is the MP for this area? What's MP doing about it, though? Because if, if this basically library has just been turned into a den of degeneracy and also no basic needs are being being maintained like electricity and water running water this is a reflection of on mp because mp should have been made sure that it did not go to stage because on one hand yeah they need to the de de these kids should not be emboldened to do this because obviously no one is correcting them or really put them in their place and because the librarians alone and employees can't do it and even the security apparently they are apparently isn't enough and I mean, like, it shouldn't be come to the part where they call authorities, but they need to get the whole of these parents. So the parents need to, like, pull their, ki their kids, or pull these little brats out and basically be lighting their asses or put a switch. I'm not saying, though, because like, there's no way these little kids should be, be this reckless and wild, though. And as a reflection, how they're raised, all right? And, and I think, though, these, because I think if they, this is not being addressed, because... These kids are going to be worse if down the road. If they're bold enough to do this as children, I don't want to imagine what they're going to be as adults. But this is just this is just disgraceful all over. Like this is the result of Jamaica's benign neglect policy. Cause obviously they're saying that nothing is being done. The MP of this area, for those in St. James, you can tell me who he or she is. The MP is this looks bad on the MP and also with the authorities. Why they're not doing things? I'm betting the parents of these children, all of them need to be coming in, be coming in, pulling an intervention and get this, turn this place, this library into a place of of education and learner, and learning, not as just a place where moral degeneracy can get done. All right, but they, we can do much better than this. And this is gusts me hearing this because a library is a, a sacred place. And no one should come in and do is used, used and disrespect that kind of space. So, everybody who should be doing something, get off your asses and do something. All right, do something about these brats. All right, and I'm especially talking about the parents. All right, because how um, how these how these kids are acting, how they're being raised by their their parents. So, let's hope that something's done. But anyways, this is for State of Jamaica and the Caribbean. Check my YouTube pages, Miles Goodson Fern, Miles Just Productions. Okay.